in the spirit, in the spiritual, God sees how you are dressed. That's what he's telling us in the, gospel, in the first thing to remove. God sees how you are dressed in the spirit. When you go every time with sadness, with sorrow, every time with misery, you have dressed yourself. And God is seeing you. And God is not happy. God is not unaware that life and human beings and circumstances put on the garment of sorrow on you. God is not unaware. That. I'm aware of that. I am very much aware. When your best friend goes behind you to sleep with your wife or your husband and you get to discover, he has put on or she has put on what? A garment of what? Misery or distress on you. But don't wear it for long. Pull it. Help me tell somebody, pull it, pull it, pull it. That's what he's saying. Pull it and move on. Refuse to dress in the borrowed garment that they have imposed on you. You can pull it off. They cannot force you to wear it. They can dress you with, it, you with it, but they cannot force you to wear it. You have lost your husband or your wife or your children. It is something of sorrow and pain. But you have mourned for these months, these years. Now pull off the mourning garment and do what? And move on. Because God wants to see you dressed in the beauty of his glory. He said, pull it off so that he can be proud of you. You know, there is a kind of dressing you will hear. When people see you, they will hail you, Odogu. Then there is the one you will dress. When people see you, they will say, Odogu. You remember that one, our dear president, Baba Buhari, wore to Imo State. That, that, I don't know why the teller who made that cloth has not been arrested. That thing is the issue of national terrorism. That teller is supposed to be arrested. You see that thing he wore to Imo State? The way they dress Baba. When you say, what did you say? Oh, Diego. But when you see Peter Doche or Yule Doche or Ebuka and every other person putting on his shag with a well sewn this thing, what do you say? Odogu. Even as a husband now, if you are coming from one street now, you see your wife dressed like a masquerade, what will you do? You will turn and say, Oh, Diego. You don't even want to meet her and all of that, you know? So some of us Christians, we are dressed all the time with iniquities, we are dressed all the time with sorrow and misery, we are dressed all the time with anxiety and fear. Every time God sees you, you say, oh, oh, Diego. Oh, Diego. Be like Job, your spiritual, internal composure. Job was dressed with the glory of God. Job was dressed with the holiness and the righteousness of God. So when the devil came, what God said is, have you seen Job, my servant? Odogu, Odogu, Odogu. God wants to see you and say what? Odogu. Remove that. Isaiah 61 verse 10, he said, he has clothed me with the robe of righteousness. He has covered me with the garment of what? Of salvation. Remove all those robes that make God look at you and say, Odogu. That's the way some of us are covered. Put on the garment of love. Put on the garment of peace. The Bible says in Psalm 30 verse 5, At night there are tears, but joy comes in the morning. You will weep at night. And then when morning comes, you will still carry the weeping of night and continue in the morning. No. The Bible is saying you can't. Take it off. And Psalm 34 verse 10 says, Many are the sorrows of the righteous, but God delivers him from all of them. Now, God wants to deliver you from of this thing, but He wants you to begin to look like somebody who is already what? Delivered. So take off. I am not unaware of the things you go through in life, but don't be covered in this garment of shame all the time, of weeping and sorrowing. Because whether you like it or not, troubles will never finish in this world. Abby? Uh, but you can decide how you appear before God. God is looking at us. If it is sin and iniquity, remove it. Isaiah chapter 1 verse 18 Say, come, let us dialogue. When was the last time you had a dialogue with God over your sinful lives and habits? Many of us don't want to have dialogue with God because we don't want to pull off that clothes. When was the last time you sat down and had a sincere dialogue with God over your weaknesses, your moral weaknesses? Remove those garments. You can. Let me tell your neighbor, you can. You can. You can say, take it off. Take it off. To watch full videos and get notifications for new ones, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. God bless you. 
Sign up with the largest community of Catholics online, make new friends, chat, post pictures and videos, make and receive audios and video calls, interact with lots of priests and religions. Download the app from Google Play Store.